Hi! I thought it was about time that I did an updated what's new in my wardrobe. I tried to backdate it to when I did the last video, which was, I think, in November. And once again, the pile of stuff is in front of me and it is slightly scary and slightly overwhelming and I really need to chill out. Let's just get straight into it, okay? I'm gonna start with Cuckoo Intimates just because I am wearing the black vest, so it feels like a natural place to start. I did buy the black and the white crop vest, I think, like over a year ago now, and I had sold them since because I'd grown out of wearing stuff that was super, super cropped, and I prefer full length tops now. And then they announced on their Instagram that they were bringing their designs in full length. And I was over the moon when I opened my Instagram the other week and they had offered me some gifting like that. That is a dream brand for me. I honestly have a list of a few brands I would like love to work with and they were very much already on there. So I picked out a few pieces. I love this like pointel fabric and the quality is just amazing. The cut is just amazing. The finish is amazing. Like it feels like so clean and so sexy and so pretty. And it's kind of a mix of lounge wear, but also you can style it up to wear it out the house. So that's kind of what I was going for with the pieces that I've chosen. So I picked out this black vest. It's in the full length. Um, and then I got the matching vest in white as well. That looks so cute with the shorts. So the vests I got in a size medium and I would say they're very much true to size. The shorts I actually got in a size large. I am like a UK 10, 12 on the bottom, but I also wanted them to fit kind of like a boxer. And on the size and care, it said to size down if you're in between sizes, but I actually sized up there. And I love the way they fit. I think they fit really nice and I can't wait to wear them in summer as like a short. I kind of picture my friend Yasmin, baby binge. She wore these little white shorts when we went to brunch once. I thought it looked so good. So I kind of want to recreate something like that when the weather is warmer. Yeah, I honestly am so grateful. Thank you so much, Cuckoo. Like it's a real dream come true. This is the, um, cardigan and it looks so cute with this vest underneath and then just the button done up and the cardigan open it's just like a good staple you know and a real elevator basic and like i said the quality wow love her the next piece is also from a small business not gonna lie it was kind of expensive it was definitely one of the most expensive things i bought recently but you know when you just see something like it was perfect to me it was worth it because i was like i know i'm gonna hunt for something similar and it's never quite gonna hit the way that this one does honestly the design is quite simple i'm sure if you're like nifty with sewing um, you could very much recreate this skirt. It's from Brooke Callahan, which is an American brand. Um, it actually came up on my Instagram Explore the other day and I just love the way it was styled. I've kind of got a similar colored top and a similar pair of shoes that I wanna pair it with. I think it's like such a springy outfit that I have in my head. So I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit warmer. The way that this sits and hangs is just stunning. Like I loved it and I was so relieved when it came that I loved it that much because I had to pay like 60 quid in import tax on top of the skirt itself which I didn't really factor in but you know and you're like it's too late and I love it so to me it's worth it I love a little poplin skirt at the moment I think they look so cute especially with a little swing jacket it's very like a feminine girly silhouette and it sits really low rise which I also love I went for a size two it was either one two or three and it was the perfect size for me. I'm really pleased with this. I haven't actually worn it out yet because it only came earlier this week. The thing is about these videos is I always want to put them off until something arrives that I'm waiting for in the post, but I'm always waiting for something in the post, whether it's, you know, something that I bought on Vinted or from a small brand, or even if it's something that I've been gifted because then I want to show it off in this video. So I would just end up delaying and delaying and delaying it. So it's better to just do the video when it makes sense and then show any pieces that come after that in the next one, which is fine. You might have already seen it if you've watched my vlog when I went away for Christmas. I always get confused about which way around it is. It is the Paloma Wool Rizzo top. So I went to their pop-up when they were in London and I tried this top on and I'd already seen it online before and been like, that is a bit of me. And I tried it on and I was just like, oh God, I did not expect to love it this much. It's like mesh and a little bit see-through. So I just wore my little sexy fruity booty bra underneath it. Yeah, it was expensive. It was like 200 quid. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna list it on buy rotation so that I can rent it out and make some of that money back. I will link my buy rotation in the description. Um, it's a size medium, fits me perfectly. I'm a UK 10 on my top half. And then when it was Black Friday, I know that Liberty and I'm trying to think where else stocks Paloma Wool, but I don't think I've ever seen a Paloma Wool sale on Paloma Wool's website. However, the stockists do go into sale. 
so I bought this top which I actually have wanted for ages it's just this really light green again slightly see-through high neck which I really like and it's like peplum which I love I love a peplum I think it's so flattering I think it's such a nice shape so I haven't used Vessier Collective in ages because their figgies I always used to think were so much but I bought this pair of vintage Prada trainers um, they've even got the like interesting sole and they're in such good nick and I'm pretty sure they were like 50 quid and then they have a code for if you are a new customer so I use that so it didn't end up being that expensive and considering they're vintage Prada trainers and they're in really good nick I thought it was a bargain I've been a bit funny about trainers recently like I've kind of gone off them and I've sold so many of the ones that I own and then the trainers that I do still own aren't even really trainers like none of them are lace up and I do kind of want a few more vintage trainers but I was trying to stay off of the vintage shoes because they do just start to rot and decay. Let's hope that doesn't happen with these. They are actually more patent than I thought they were, which at first I was like, oh, I don't know how much I love that, but I don't think it really matters. And I really like the shade of green. I just thought they were a really fun vintage pair of shoes. They literally arrived yesterday, so they are the newest thing in my wardrobe. I don't know if you noticed this, but I saw on lots of trend prediction videos that rugby polos are gonna be big this year. I don't know if I'll be wearing like actual rugby polos, but I like a uh, knitted polo. So Ellie, from work who has such a great dress sense like she's a designer a peachy dancer obviously her style is really good and then a stylist that we used on a shoot recently both of them wore knitted polos in that like week that I kind of clocked it and I was inspired so I went on a little vintage hunt and I found this one and it was just a really nice charcoal grey it's cashmere so it's like unbelievably soft and warm and it's gorgeous the brand is um Pringle and yeah I don't think I paid that much for it at all and I love her I've been wearing her loads Karakoa is one of my favorite vintage sellers she is also just such a babe and we're friends and her stock is always just amazing so I went to her studio you can actually book to go and do like showroom or studio appointments. But if you're not based in London, she also sells stuff on her Depop and on her website. So you can go and check out there. I got this gorgeous pleated denim skirt. I'm just gonna shuffle back a bit so you can see it better. It's just this gorgeous, really stiff denim. And it's like a dark denim with a little contrasty stitch. It's a lovely like stretch denim and it just fits me really nice. It's also one of those like fabrics where it kind of maintains its shape really well. And it also goes so nicely with this knitted hoodie that I got. The brand of this is Jennifer and it's a really nice little burnt orange. I love a knitted hood. That's something I'm super, super into. Um, it also has this little number applique detail. The next little segment of this video is gonna be all the pieces that I've got from Peachy Den. So for those of you who don't already know, I work for Peachy Den. I do three days a week as a freelancer and my title is digital creative. So I do all things underneath the content, creative and marketing bracket umbrella whatever it's a small london-based female-owned women's wear brand and the team is so small there's literally like 12 of us it's really funny because i think that people perceive it to be such a big brand with like a huge team but really it's not and i also have a discount code for peachy den so you can use my code doa10 d-o-a-h-10 all capital letters to get 10% off of your Peachy Den orders, whether it's something you've seen in this video that you like or anything else on their website or in future drops. It just doesn't work on sale items and the minimum spend is 100 pounds. I make a small bit of commission and honestly, every little helps. I'm sure I've said that before in a video. So yeah, if you like anything that I'm about to show you, don't forget to use my code. I'm gonna start with the Betty joggers. So I actually don't have the matching zip up hoodie, but I do really want them both. Um, but I love the way that joggers look with something more formal or like not so formal, but like a little shirt on top or some wear with some little ballet flats the whole peachy team wears these like day in day out just because they're so comfy and so flattering i've noticed lots of people have to always do what you should do trackies and they say the fit is really nice but i am just like not a big fan of that logo it's a bit like tribal for me and it's quite like in your face whereas these are a bit more discreet and a bit more feminine i love the little boxer style button detail down the front with the little contrast stitching it's got the little peachy motif here and i love the chocolate brown and then i also love the nighttime tee which is like a navy blue and it's got a lovely cornflower contrast stitch too i could not decide for the life of me between the two colorways so I got both. I got them in a size medium and I would say they're very much true to size, but they're just so soft, like so, so soft. It's so cozy inside. The hoodies are on my to buy list, but I'm just like, I'm trying to save guys because I'm moving. And when you move, you have to fork out so much money, like on movers, on furniture that the new place doesn't have, the security deposit, and then the actual five week deposit, and then having to pay two months rent upfront on top of the rent that I'm paying here. And 
I am broke. <laughs> also, I had to pay my um, tax bill because I'm self-employed and that was not fun. The next few pieces are in the upcoming spring drop that are gonna be towards the end of February. So this is actually a sample. This colorway won't be available, but this maxi skirt, it's like a really nice slinky knit. It's called the Elsa Maxi, and it will be available in Beetle. Beetle is like a black, but it's kind of got browny khaki tones in a way. If you see it next to something that's actually like jet black, you can really see the difference. Um, the Elsa has three different types of knit patterns or knit techniques on it. It's got a little slit at the side and then the sporty peachy motif here. And then looks so, so good with the Elsa hooded top, which is sleeveless. You can see here a bit more the different types of the knit pattern. You can see like the checkerboard and then it's like the stripy one. And then it's got the like scallopy trim. I am obsessed with the color. This color is called Sterling. It also comes in petrol, which is like a really nice Nice blue it's a really nice transitional knit so I actually think it's super like lightweight and breathable so I actually think that I will very much be wearing this top in the summer I've already kind of thought about wearing it at Glastonbury when we were on set I was also convinced to get the long sleeve I actually want to get the long sleeve in the beetle as well I've got to mention about sizing actually the maxi skirt I sized down and got a small which I think I would recommend doing the hooded top is a medium which is very much true to size and then I got the long sleeve in a large because I didn't want it super, super, super tight. But I think I'm gonna get the beetle in a medium just so that it kind of fits in two different ways. Whereas this is like a little bit looser, which is nice. It's a gorgeous like boat neck neckline very flattering yeah it looks great with the maxi there's also going to be a matching mini skirt and then they had a little sample sale and i got this top the buttons are like a bit out of sync i need to either add a buttonhole or add another button but it's like an over the shoulder it's actually a play suit but i think i'm gonna wear it as like a top over trousers i think this is a shape they're going to be releasing in a different fabric so Keep your eyes peeled. So I showed you the Brooke Callahan poplin skirt before, but I've just been on a bit of a skirt vibe at the moment. And I got this, it's actually cos, I got it on vintage. Oh no, I got it on Depop actually for 20 quid. Um, it's size large, so it sits kind of low rise and it's a bit asymmetric. It's this lovely like stiff cotton material and it's gorgeous. I actually really like cos as a brand. So I think I'm gonna keep searching for cos stuff on vintage because i just think it's all really well made and it definitely hits that kind of like 90s minimalism court core vibe or aesthetic which i'm super super into so there was this Miu Miu jacket that i really liked on vintage um but it was like over 100 pounds so i didn't buy it but i did find this really similar one vintage river island from vintage it's like four pounds so bargain it's this lovely burgundy red and black plaid print and it's gorgeous and i'm yet to style her but i think that i'm gonna wear it with my peachy den diva skirt and oyster i think that's gonna be a fun look and i might save that when i go to paris got this little short sleeve jacket on vintage as well plaid again gray and black and then this is the jacket that i styled with the beige skirt on my instagram i got it on vintage the brand is Comptoir des Connetiers. It's a really nice like swing pico. It goes out. It's a very cute and feminine shape and silhouette. And again, it's got like a gray and black plaid tartany situation. I got these Oakley factory shoes a couple weeks ago. You can already tell because they're so dirty that I've been living in them. They're super, super comfy and they're just cool. Like I really like the colorway. I like the pops of like the greeny, yellowy color and then all the different types of material and fabric on them. All the tones are just really, really nice and it's just like a really unique trainer but I like all of those Oakley factory shoes they're so so nice and I always struggle with jeans because I'm a bit bottom heavy buying secondhand is such a risk because usually they come and they don't fit me or don't look nice on me this was a complete fluke ordered them on Depop they were like 26 pounds which I think is a great price for Depop they're this nice like washed black there's the silver tab label there and they just fit really nice they're like a kind of mid-rise but the funny thing is I'd actually already ordered some silver tab Levi's on Depop as well really really similar pair different size and they just did not look nice on me and then I made my boyfriend try them on and they looked amazing on him even though they're a flop for me they were a success for him and he gave me the money for them so happy days but now we're kind of like matching because I also bought a wool vintage coat on vintage and it was a really nice like charcoal -y, woolly gray and it came and it was just like a little bit too oversized like I wanted it big and I always like them with shoulder pads so that there's like structure and it's a nice silhouette but it came and it was just a bit too big it was kind of drowning me he tried it on and he looked amazing so he bought that off of me as well and so when we both leave the house because this is the replacement one that I got afterwards that was a success nice long coat 
with shoulder pads so when we wear these with our jeans and then these matching Suzanne jumpers that we have we're literally twinning it's so funny it's a super old like label inside you can tell it proper traditional it says Baker Street wool and cashmere and it is lush I was kind of thinking I want another wool coat that's not as massive and then I was like do I actually want to sell this and then I tried it the other day I was like no I don't I love it I went on a little kitty mission on vintage okay I guess they're not proper proper kitties these are more courts these are more like sandals the brand is um Patrick Cox these are really nice little like tan snake skin with a little buckle detail wore those on my holiday and they are lush they fit really nice and they're really comfy and I got a five and a half because I actually have quite wide feet and even though I'm actually between a four and a half five in like the length I need the extra room for the width so I usually size up by half a size now if I'm getting vintage shoes because everything vintage always seems to run small. But I also got these little quartz in this little burgundy brownie leather and the bow detail that I thought was really cute. And again, just really comfy pair of shoes. And then I mentioned heeled loafers in an autumn trends video, I think. They are Patrick Cox. They're this lovely like olivey um, suede fabric. And I just thought they were fun. They were kind of ugly, but in a great way. So I got them. Listen. You guys will know that I try my very best to avoid shopping fast fashion. It's just like not my vibe. You won't catch me working with or wearing Jaded London, Pretty Little Thing, like Motel Rocks. It's just not for me, like especially like Cider and Shein, like no. However, I mentioned that buying shoes secondhand is just so troublesome because you will put them on and wear them once and they will start to rot literally as you're wearing them so you will buy them wear them once and then have to literally bin them because you can't do anything with them because they've fallen apart sometimes you can take them to the cobblers and get them fixed up and looking sharp but sometimes it's just like beyond the point and you end up spending way more at the cobblers than you did on the pair of shoes in the first place so i've just been trying to buy new shoes instead even though i've just shown you some shoes that i've got invented but i saw nude lagoon styling her pieces with these lovely little Mary Jane shoes that are by Topshop and I also had seen them on my TikTok and had asked the creator where her shoes were from and I found out that they were the same shoes and I was like oh I really really do love them they're kind of like Sandy Liang vibes which is why I was drawn to them and I did try and find them first on Depop or Vinted or eBay to see if anyone was selling them already but unfortunately there weren't any so I bought them new so on my Christmas wish list video I put this scarf the brand is Pan and they actually very kindly ended up gifting it to me. I love it, it's mohair, it's super warm. I love the different like widths and chunky knit and then it's like the long skinny stripy knit. The colors are gorgeous, it's such a fun scarf, fun pop of color. So thank you very much, Pan. Staying on the headwear theme, again, I mentioned these in my Christmas wish list video and Eleanor Butler-Jones, who is a independent London-based designer, got one of her bags literally on my rail behind me but she announced that she was going to do headbands and she very kindly offered to gift me one it's almost like an off-white khaki and black um but she does them in loads of different colorways and i love it so thank you so much to ellie because it's your door and then i also got because i went to her studio she was doing a little pop-up her stuff is amazing if you don't follow her on instagram drop her follow and then every now and then she does like collab pop-ups because her studio is in this building with loads of other like london independent based designers but i got this lovely knitted hood thing because it pokes up at the top i almost feel like a little pixie girl um and it's got these really cool little leather bits i can't remember the word for them <laughs> but i put this hood not this exact colorway actually in my Christmas wish list video. And I actually went and picked one out and I couldn't decide which colorway. I was there for ages trying them all on. And then I chose one, took it home, showed my boyfriend the video of me trying them all on. And he was like, oh, I actually think you should have gone for this one. So I went back and I was honestly, I could have been there for hours trying to decide which one to get. And I honestly could have loads of them because I love them. But it's just such a cool, fun knitted hood. And a knitted hood is just a cool accessory. So it seems like every fashion girly under the sun owns these intimacy me tops. They are boat neck and a lovely modal material so they're super soft they're a little bit see-through um, but not too see-through you can layer them if you want to layer them they are actually a lot cheaper if you get them in europe so if you're going to europe anytime soon but they do do a three for two offer so i got three i got this fun lime green i got this lovely kind of baby sky blue color which i just thought was a really nice pop of color in my wardrobe i also got navy because love navy love mixing navy and black and navy and brown and then lastly in their black friday sale i got some pieces from bell the label that i actually put in my summer wish list video and i kind of just thought if i've been wanting these for six months they're going to be a piece that I'm always gonna love. I try and wait as long as I can before committing to a purchase, especially if it's not like a super cheap purchase. 
to see if I'm still gonna love it because sometimes the way that I'm wired my brain just puts myself off things that I bought even like I could have bought something two weeks ago and then decide today that I actually hate it so it's really good that I waited so long to buy these and then obviously got them in Black Friday sale so they were really discounted I love this little candy pink knit top and it looks so gorgeous with this grey slate lace skirt that has a little slit um, I saw someone style this with a bikini as well as like a beach cover up can't wait to do that in the summer okay I think that's everything um, so my next video is another jersey vlog and I went to my mum's storage units and for those of you who don't know my mum's a hoarder and she has an insane like collection of loads of like vintage and vintage designer pieces Pieces, and she lets me take some pieces to either keep for myself or sell. She gave me the keys to her storage unit because she wasn't feeling very well and I went with my little sisters and we went through loads of the black bin liners of clothing and I took home with me two large cardboard boxes filled with stuff and then I went through the boxes the other day and picked out the pieces I'm going to keep for now and it's so good like it's so good. When I move and when I get all things set up and when I have the time I will be starting to list things on my depot from that haul from my mum's house but if you want to see the pieces that I'm keeping for myself then watch my next video so if you're not already don't forget to click subscribe to my channel like the video leave me a comment down below let me know which ones were your favorite pieces that you saw in this video and I will see you next time thank you for watching love you bye